r slash ask reddit by redmond dts what is an item of clothing that for you is an instant turn off message t-shirts that brag about how tough or nasty you are those stupid t-shirts the ones with the paragraph of words about my daughter is sweet kind crazy etc and yes she bought me this shirt you know the ones they have ones for moms dads uncles etc edit so i'm gathering by the response to this comment that both the printers and the people hate these as much as i do very specifically my fiance's gray and orange plaid shorts a white shirt with food stains on it i had to stop buying white shirts because every single time i drank coffee i would spill it never happens when i wear any other color i'm cursed rubber boots and gloves no electrical conductivity definite turn off live laugh love the sporty dad sunglasses yeah you know the ones those plus khaki shorts to your knees plus one size too small polo shirt plus white socks pulled up a little too high plus new balances or crocs and i refer to this common man uniform when he's not already a married dad not clothes but too much jewelry is big turn off for me mr t has entered the chat and pit is the fool respect to mr t for being able to absolutely verbally obliterate fools without using a single swear word clothes with clothes high contrast pinstripes that can cause wear effect anything loudly displaying a designer brand not a specific item but generally overdoing branded clothing if you walk up to me in $10,000 worth of clothing and accessories, I won't think you look amazing. I'll think you look like someone financially irresponsible. Just here to take notes. On how to dress? Or on how not to dress? Polo shirts with a popped collar. I can't believe no one mentioned the neckbeard trench coat yet. I don't know if it was neckbeard. But in high school in the 80s, I not only wore a genuine Indiana Jones fedora, but also a trench coat, in the winter. My coat had a removable wool lining and it was fantastic. It's like wearing a blanket. And if you wear a suit to work, there's nothing better. Again, 1980s. No regrets. It was basically an inspector gadget outfit. Skin tone pants. Specifically leggings. I was at the gym a week or so ago and ended up just staring at a woman on a treadmill who was wearing nude colored leggings and a long t-shirt. Legitimately spent 5 minutes trying to figure out why she wasn't wearing pants and why no one was stopping her. Fedora. Edit. Trilby. Unless it's on a detective or an archaeologist. The rest of the outfit makes or breaks a fedora. Any piece of clothing that is clearly a size too small. But see, I'm gonna lose the weight eventually. When a dude has a belt and his pants are still below his booty. Like what the f is the point of a belt if you are still gonna have your ass just hanging out. Anything from the swag era of fashion. You are not a 2012 8th grader anymore, grow the f up. The recent mom jeans that came back around. You look like you're going to pick carrots in the garden. Edit. Let me say not everyone looks bad wearing them. Just not my flavor so to speak. Leopard print. I don't even know why but my brain sunrise associates it with trashy. Edit. Somehow, not sunrise. But I'll leave it because it's too funny of a typo. Socks plus sandals. Not clothes but long nails. Nasty. Wife beaters. Don't ask me why, I just get an ache. Crocs on a first date. Weed stuff. Like anything with a weed leaf. Sunglasses sitting on the back of the neck. You look like a freaking idiot. Tank tops with the sides cut so open that you can see everything from the person's shoulder to their waist. It just looks trashy. Overly ripped jeans. Looks trashy, like you climbed out of a dumpster. Ankle monitor. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening.